Head to head, Rapatona have yet to defeat Hekari, the nearest being a 2 1 loss in round 7, with that match being characterized by the young PKA side showing a high degree of tenacity towards the end. Rapatona do, however, go into the match lacking much needed finals experience, and although they have quality up front, will need quicker attacking passes in the forward third to offset Hikari's mass defending. This is a must-win game for Hikari as well. While they have been undefeated, they will be wary of complacency, as it has been three weeks since any of the participating franchises have had any matches. Hikari have recruited for the finals and Oceania Champions League campaign, boosting their already formidable side. Over at the Sir Ignatius Kilage Stadium in Leh, well, Grish Morbe United make a welcome return to the finals after a two-year absence from the competition. They meet Lay City Dwellers and head into this match coming off three straight wins towards the back end of the qualifying stage. Head-to-head -head against City, Welgris have lost twice. The first, a narrow 1-0, before a 3-1 loss saw them relegated to second place. For Lay City, this also provides for them an opportunity to further stake their claim as NSL champions. It will be the first time that the final series has been played under the new competition format, with two teams qualifying from different conferences. And while there have been changes to accommodate for traveling teams, the quality of the finalists cannot be doubted. Jeremy Moggy, National MTV Sports.